hello guys welcome to my channel if you are new to this channel you are welcome if you are an old member you are welcome please do subscribe to my channel if you've not to always get a notification whenever i post a new video thank you okay these are the materials needed we'll be needing this marco satin fabric measuring tape my thread scissors uhu gum uhu gum and this applique or accessory any accessory of your choice now let's begin now i'll be measuring out the marker i'll be using this is called marco you can use four, you can use three inches width if you want. So it all depends on what you want. And I'll be using 12 inches length. So this is like four by 12 inches. So I'll mark it out properly. Need to mark it out properly very well. When I'm done, I'll use my scissors to cut it out. So, as I told you, if you want to make use of 3 inches width, you can make use of it. If you want to make use of 4 inches width, you can make use of it. But what I made use of is 4 inches. So, you can see the 4 inches is big. Some people like using smaller 3 inches. So, it all depends on what you want. Now, this is the material I'll be making use of. This material is like 29 by 20 inches. 29 by 20 inches. So I made it 29 because this is not a fabric that draws. It does not. It doesn't have elastic this is just a satin fabric so i'll notch this i'll divide it into two and notch it this way so i'll determine the midpoint of this so i'll do the same to this fabric as well so i'll know the midpoint of it in order to know where to place my marker so this is it so i'll place my marco on this this is i'll place it this way and i will sew it from here and here so this is it it is the wrong side that i folded this way and so so this is my right part now that i turned it to now can you see this place is the back can you see it that's why i placed my marker so i divided it into two like this and i will now stitch take your tape around your head and know the measurement of your head circumference that is around your head is your head circumference so you divide it into two that's what you use to get your head circumference if you don't measure it it might not be your head size so make sure it's your head size you are using for it so this depends on what you want some people said it's 10 some people said it's 12 some people 24 so it all depends on how big on the type of hair you normally make so make sure you use your tape to make sure your head to know your head circumference so i'll take it down like this like the way we normally do our turban but first of all i need to sew down my head part first so when i'm done sewing it I've sewn it now. Use needle and thread to run a loose stitch in that place I marked with chalk. 
like that. So, so I've used my machine to run this down already. So I'll be using my needle and thread, as I said, to run a loose stitch. My camera went off as I was doing the loose stitch. So I'll be dropping a short video on how I ran the loose stitch. So this is the outcome of it. You turn it to the front and use your applique to apply in front with your gun. So this is the final look. Thank you.